Most recently, the US presidential election has shown that conspiracy ideologues target democratic processes through false claims, with sometimes violent consequences. But what does that mean for Germany? Election fraud, the specter of an allegedly manipulated federal election, has long been conjured up in the dark corners of the internet and it is increasingly reaching the nice neighbors or the sport club's WhatsApp group. A good week before the vote on September 26th, the misinformation is noticeably picking up speed. There is a lot of rumor. Postal voting documents are sent to voters without being asked. Ballot papers punched in one corner are invalid. If the voter turnout is less than 50%, voting is illegal or polling stations only allowed vaccinated and convalescent access. Everything is nonsense. Everything is a lie. Particularly in focus is the postal vote from these people. From AFD politicians who want to be elected to parliament themselves, one can hear, for example, votes for their party were deliberately lost in the mail. A completely illogical and bullshit charge. Because the ballot papers are only removed from the envelopes on the evening of the election. Beforehand, it is not possible to tell with which party the cross was made. Federal Returning Officer Georg Thiel said that there were rare individual cases in previous elections in which a few, a few postal voting documents were inadvertently not delivered to the polling stations. We are not aware of any deliberate cases, said his office at the request of the German press agency. Disinformation enters the world primarily through unregulated social media, such as the Telegram messenger service. Telegram is currently the platform for right-wing extremists and conspiracy ideologues, says political scientist Josef Hollenburger. He is a data scientist and one of the managing directors of the Center for Monitoring, Analysis and Strategy, the CMAS, which observes disinformation and radicalization tendencies in social media, among other things. What is spreading very widely on Telegram will soon also dominate the conspiracy ideological scene, according to Hollenburger. The lies spill over to other social media and suddenly end up in the uncle's Facebook group or on mum's WhatsApp. Just an example. It is claimed that postal voting documents are currently being sent nationwide without those eligible to vote having requested this, including in half of Hamburg. That is a criminal offense, and whoever takes part in the election is a criminal. But that's not true at all. From the regional election officer of the Hanseatic city, Oliver Rudolph, it said, there is no knowledge that unanswered postal voting documents are being set. Federal returning officer Thiel is also, also knows no cases throughout Germany. Both authorities are watching over the orderly election process. Such clar clarifications, however, fizzle out in conspiracy circles. Either they do not receive the statements at all or do not allow them to apply in principle. Because a, a certain part of them rejects the political system and its organs. For example, the so-called Reichsbürger, who deny the existence of the Federal Republic as a sovereign state. In contrast to Facebook, YouTube and Twitter, Posts on Telegram are largely unregulated and distributed without opposing positions. While social media are actually supposed to provoke interaction in the community, Telegram is mostly a mouthpiece in German-speaking countries without any objection. Holmburger calls it a fairly large echo chamber into which one speaks and hears confirmation. Therefore, the outrageous statement remains in the room that by participate, participating in the election, you would make yourself a criminal. <whistles> because even an attempted forgery in the postal vote, which could at least result in up to five years imprisonment, were found somewhere in Germany, that does not make the whole vote illegal, let alone all those who are criminals, or suddenly everybody is a criminal who casts their vote regularly. But what is the point of all these lies? To keep voters away from the ballot box and deny leg legitimacy to the entire election? 
The story that all politicians are bad, says Hollenberger, this is, of course, a conspiracy ideological narrative in which a group is chosen to be absolutely evil. This wants to bring about everything that is illegit illegitimate, including election fraud. According to SEMA studies, the US presidential election in particular shows how mobilization on the Internet can become a real danger. After Biden's victory in November 2020, the news about election fraud in public telegram groups and channels soared. The permanent repetition of false claims in combination with the mobilization against postal votes as a vehicle for alleged electoral fraud culminated there in the storming of the Capitol in 2021, the analysts say. Postal voting as a gateway to fraud? The, the federal constitutional court sees the danger that it's difficult to check whether a ballot paper is filled out at home without being influenced. On the other hand, as many people as possible can vote, including those who have to work or whose mobility is restricted. So it's, it's just a matter of weighing up. Karlsruhe, the place where our constitutional court is, has repeatedly viewed, viewed postal voting as constitutional. Because, for example, people vote more often by post in the city than in the country, or because more progressive people use the instrument than conservatives want, the result of voting by post and ballot box can be very different. But conspiracy ideologues could not or would not understand this, says Hollenburger. And with that, they sow doubts. One tries to destroy a democratically legitimized election and to erode the trust in it. That is dangerous for our democracy as a whole, he says, and he's right. And after the election, regardless of the outcome, the people in this scene do not feel represented by the politicians who are elected, said the scientists. He expects the issue of electoral fraud to become really big. Showdown, as I said, will be on September 26th. And just a personal note on that as well. I already voted by via postal vote. And it's not that easy to get this stuff. And they are not sending it out to anyone without asking because I had to register. Um, I know how to do it online here. And it will only be sent if you put all the proper data in it. And it was sent to my home address. Do you think, especially in my case, my postmen know me, they won't hand over my mail to anybody else. So I would have known if somebody would have broken open my, my letterbox. Nobody can fiddle with that thing. And um, on the way back, they don't know who whose letter it is. And I know how very careful our electoral team here is in, in my city. Um, there are so many checks. You can't fool around with that stuff. But those um, tinfoil hat guys will, will never believe it anyway, because they don't want to believe it. I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.